Hey there, what's up guys, welcome to Blender Wiz. In today's video, we will be learning how to create this entire scene in a quick and very easy way. So, not wasting our time, let's get started. So, yeah, here I will be using an add-on which is the home builder asset library and it is developed by Andrew Peel. This is really a very interesting and cool add-on for all the interior designers who wants to design stuff in quick and easy way. Like this add-on gives you the objects along with the texture. So this is the website of Andrew Peel. So there's the information about the add-on like what assets are available in home builder the that is the app appliances cabinets doors and windows walls etc so we'll start with how to install this add-on so we have this website over here all you have to do is uh, click here entire package and this will open up a page and you can download it from here and once you download it what you have to do is open the open the file where you downloaded it like I have it here this you will get a zip file you just go right click and extract extract the zip file so yeah click on extract extract here so you will get this folder so open it and you can see the blender.exe uh, file here so you can go right click and run it as administrator so yeah once you open it you will get this page uh, get this window so what you have to do is select all and delete everything and you have to start by adding a workspace so you can see the plus sign over here just click on that um, go to PyClone and click on PyClone so you get the workspace over here now what you have to do is go into the edit references and then search for PyClone and enable it I've already enabled and the second thing you have to enable is home builder you then enable it and the third thing is toy box library so once you enable all these three things you are ready to get started so once you enable it you will get the home builder library over here so just click on that and there you can see the various objects which you want so like we have appliances cabinets and doors windows and walls so so let's let's use them one by one so i'll start by adding a plane yeah and then first we'll add some walls so to add walls what you have to do is you just have to drag and drop so drag the png file here and drop it and then you have to just move your cursor place it and then extrude it like you don't have to press any key like you just have to move your mouse and just left click it once you have the wall in position and yeah that's it and to exit like to end this procedure you just have to right click so this is how the wall and you can you have the you have various options of volume like wall break wall frame you can use any one of them and the next thing is we'll try cabinets so look you can you have various cabinets over here so i'll choose this one and just drop it drag and drop and i'll place it over here so here we have the cabinet 
now we will place multiple cabinets over here okay so we are done with the cabinets now the next thing is appliances um, I'll select this range.png and drag and drop so it's as simple as that you just have to drag the objects and drop it wherever you want to drop it so I place it over here and then again choose a cabinet place it over here one more place it over here and then I choose a refrigerator which is inside the appliances drag it and I drop it over here and another cabinet uh, I'll choose this one or this one I'll just drag it and drop it over here okay so these were the cabinets now I'll show you about the windows and doors so I'll go to doors and I'll place one door over here so I select a single door and I just place it over here okay so I place it and you just have to uh, right click to cancel the position so it will get placed so this was for the door and for the window it's the same procedure like I select this window window small and I place it over here over here okay so yeah this is for the window so yeah so this is what the add-on is like it helps you to create objects like in such an easy way and once you're done you just have to end the workspace and go into the layout, layout mode and you can do your further editing here like if you want to add some texture in on the floor and yeah so this is it like like this is my one of my favorite add-ons like it, it is very simple to use and once you are done with everything you just go and render like yeah so I have created this model and I have just added texture on the floor and I have added an environment texture and, and rest all is the add-on so i hope you like the video if you like the video please do subscribe my channel and also hit that like button so thank you so much for watching